The Sims 2 is objectively a pretty old game by now and that means that it has some issues when installed on newer operation systems just like Windows 10 and I thought in this video I would give you a few tips and hints on what to do if you want to play The Sims 2 without crashing uh, or without graphics glitches on Windows 10. Hey everyone, my name is Clau and welcome back to Cozy Pixels. So you have decided to try The Sims 2 or you already played it but you only just wanted to get back to it so congratulations the sims 2 is one of the best games of the world i am very happy that you want to try it out so the first things first you need to get the game obviously there are multiple options to get the game one of them is if you were lucky enough you got the ultimate collection in 2014 when he was giving it away for free i was one of those lucky individuals so i have it kind of easy on me but if you weren't then you always have the option to buy the CD versions or if you own them already you can install them on your Windows 10 computer and if you don't have the physical copies or if you don't have the chance to buy them you can always download the game. I obviously won't go into details with that one. I will leave a link in the description for a reddit that I really appreciate where you can read upon downloading the sims and installing it that way so take whatever chance you get and also I want to mention that uh, please don't try to buy the sims 2 ultimate collection because anyone who is selling the sims 2 ultimate collection is uh, most likely either a scammer or selling their original account which includes which already contains the game and that is illegal so i wouldn't recommend trying to buy the ultimate collection if you go with the download you can download the ultimate collection but you cannot buy it legally unfortunately and it's not available on origin anymore we all would love that but we can't always get what we want so after you got the game the installation of the ultimate collection is pretty straightforward you just need to download it from origin but if you have the physical copies you have to pay attention because the physical copies needs to be installed in release order you can see the release order of the expansions on the screen now i will also leave a link in the description where you can check which release order they came out in and this is important because the sims 2 was released before the internet was super widespread and therefore online patches weren't a thing so the patches came with new expansions therefore you can't switch up the release order after you install the physical copies you also need a few patches to be downloaded and i will leave a link in the description also you can see the website on the screen where you can download them make sure that you only download the patches of the expansions that you already have if you want to buy the physical copies and you don't know which one to get or which one which expansions do you want I have a tier maker video here where I rate my favorite expansions, maybe it will help you. And after you are done with this part, we need a few fixes and here I will already show you because I downloaded my Sims 2 already. So the first thing you want to do is download the graphic rules maker because the sims 2 is an old game it doesn't really recognize newer graphics card and that is the first thing that we need to fix before launching the game so i will leave the link of everything in the description i don't want to say it every time but everything will be in the description just download the graphic rules maker here and install it to your computer so here we go in the installer and basically you just have to click uh, next and i agree here if you want you can uh, change the destination folder it doesn't affect anything so you can just press next next and here you can see which plugins do you want to uh, install so for example if you have the sims 2 and live stories pet stories you have to tick those uh, i will install all of them now but you don't have to if you don't want to i think it's just nice sir for the future if you have it already and you don't have to bother with it every time i mean it's like uh, 32 megabytes so it's not a lot of space and we can just run the graphic rules maker here we are you can see that uh, the ui of it is pretty easy and pretty straightforward so here you have to choose the game sims 2 and you can see that it already located the game for me it's um, in origin games but if you have them installed from a disk you just have to check if it's the proper path of where did you install the game so here 
at texture memory, force texture memory, you have do not force by default. I would recommend putting it higher. I usually put it at 512 because <laughs> most of us already have that memory and I don't want it to force higher but I think I could put it up until like 2 gigabytes and most of us can so if you definitely know that your uh, graphics card can handle more then I would say feel free to raise it higher and what I usually tick here is high quality on Intel graphics because on my laptop I use the integrated graphics card but I would say if you don't have an Intel graphics card, you don't need to take these. I would say just why not? Uh, it won't cause any harm. And here you have to choose the resolution of your screen. And I think for this screen, it's this one. And for the maximum, you need to choose that one as well. You can choose different ones, but it doesn't really make sense because you will be able to change the resolution in the game. Now, you go into save files and this pop-up will come and it says the following devices are still missing in the video card database. Do you want to add them? You want to click yes and the files have been saved. Now everything should work. We will later see and if it doesn't work then I will give you a few tips on how to make it work. But the next thing you want to do before launching your game and uh, this is not mandatory but it is very useful to download Lazy Duchess's launcher which fixes a lot of issues with The Sims 2 and a few gameplay things as well. If you use the physical copies of the game I would highly recommend installing this because this applies the 4GB patch and it gets rid of Securum at the same time so basically you just save a lot of time for yourself if you do this and you have to download it from her blog obviously link in the description and here as you can see to install you have to extract the files into the sims 2 ultimate collection fun with pets sp9 but obviously if you have the disk version this path will look very different and you will have to install it into the Sims 2 Mansion and Garden, so SP9 and TS bin. So I will just quickly do that. So here I am in the TS bin folder and just copy everything in there from the from the compressed file. And you will see that here a new exe file will show up and this is where you want to launch the game from now on instead of the regular Sims 2 SP9 file. What this does is basically it fixes an issue of the game that um, when the Sims 2 runs in full screen mode, if you add tab out of the game, it crashes and it freezes and it takes a lot of time to get back into game. So this one automatically runs the game in native borderless mode. Also, it fixes the so-called firstborn syndrome, which makes all your Sims kids look exactly the same and have exactly the same personality. And also it applies the 4GB patch, which I I already mentioned and uh, if you don't know what that is basically helps your game to recognize more than two gigabytes of ram because without that no matter how many gigabytes of ram your system has the game can only run with two making it super slow and not very effective so the next thing you want to do is uh, the so-called data execution prevention and this method really did stop the game from crashing for me. So what you have to do is go into your control panel, choose system. Here you have to go into advanced system settings. Here you see that it says performance and you have to click on the button settings. Go into data execution prevention. And you see I already added the Sims 2 castaway stories here. But we have to add another exe, which will be the sims. So you have to add the mansion and garden exe file here. So you just go sims to ap9, open, and you can see that it will be featured here from now on. So you just click OK, OK again, and now it should work and without crashes. So I would say let's try to launch the game to see how is it going. So you see that the game didn't launch and I think it's a perfect time to mention that for this to work you need the C++ redistributable package if it doesn't launch. So let's just go here and download and install this one as well. 
you just have to press install and it will do it uh, on its own so nothing really needs to be done here and while we wait for this to load if you find this useful you might as well want to subscribe to my channel i upload mostly sims content every tuesday and friday so you must restart your computer before you can use the software so after uh, installing the c++ and it's still not working for you you just have to press the sims 2 rpc update and it will update the launcher and after that you have to run it as administrator and after that it will launch the game for you just like this and you can see that here we are in the game and the resolution is great the graphics look great so that means that the graphic rules maker actually did work properly and the launcher works properly as well which i am very happy for here if you come to the graphics performance options you can see that you can change the resolution you can change the smooth edges which i would say you would uh, have to put on more otherwise the game sometimes flickers a little bit the shadows are stuck on high which i don't mind but maybe you will have to download a fix for sims shadows link in the description but i would say here we are this is how you install the sims on windows 10 although i just quickly want to show you how to install the 4gb patch if you decide not to get lazy duchess's launcher which i highly recommend you get but if you don't here we go so if you don't want to install lazy duchess's launcher then you will have to do the 4gb patch on your own and for that the first thing you will have to do is to download the cff explorer link in the description as always you don't need to install this you just have to extract the files and here we have this is the folder and you have to open cff explorer exe and here this is what you will see and you have to go into file open and what we need to do here is we have to look for the sims uh, to mansion and garden exe file which for me is in one with pads sp9 ESB and you have to choose the sims 2 ap9.exe and uh, before we click this i highly recommend you do a backup of this exe file just to make sure that uh, if anything goes wrong then you can just copy it back also i would uh, recommend turning off your antivirus because sometimes it falsely picks up the modified exe file so just to be sure that you don't mess up your games, make a backup and um, whitelist it in your antivirus. So you have to choose it, click open and you see all this stuff here which you don't have to worry about. But here you have to click file header and here you can see click here and you have to click there and tick this one. App can handle two gigabytes address space. Press OK. And after that, you have to press save. Overwrite original file? Yes. I want, to, or I want to overwrite mine because I already have the launcher installed. But you press yes and that's it basically what you have to do here. And after you've done all this, the 4GB patch is installed on your game. One thing, if the graphic rules maker doesn't work for you for some reason, I had it... Uh, sometimes happening to me that it doesn't set the resolution properly you can modify your config file you have to go to your install location and choose the latest um, expansion that you have go into ts data res config and you see that there's a graphic rules dot sgr file which you have to open with notepad it looks very complicated but don't worry we don't have to tinker around very much you have to put in resolution into the search and click find next and you can see that after a few search you will find this section here you can see that for the low medium and high settings there are different um, resolutions and you just have to change all these for the resolution that you want to play your game in save it and after that you can launch your game and it will run in the correct resolution 
Now, one thing that I want to mention, and it's not really related to installation, but if you are a new Sims 2 player, you might want to do this. Go into my documents, EA games, the Sims 2 ultimate collections, go into config and create a new file and uh, name it user startup.cheat and delete the txt. This will create a cheats file and you have to open this with notepad and you want to enter this cheat code which allows um, 45 angle rotation all the time and also this cheat code which enables quarter tile placement of objects and you can toggle that with uh, Ctrl and F press down at the same time so you can put objects outside of the grid and I would also recommend adding the testing cheats enable true cheat just to make sure. If you have issues with the uh, pink flashing textures in the game, then uh, go into your user startup.cheat file and add this row bullprop use shaders false, then save it. And after that, go into thumbnails and delete all your thumbnails once in a while. That should also help with the uh, pink flashing textures and also going into the game and changing the settings of the game, the graphic settings and uh, settings the shadows of the lightning to medium and the view distance to medium can also help. The pink flashing textures occurs when uh, the game doesn't really recognize enough uh, graphical memory. So that's really annoying. It's mostly common with NVIDIA cards. So for example, if you play on your laptop and it has an Intel integrated graphics card, I would recommend using that instead of the NVIDIA one because the pink flashing occurs only in these scenarios. That's why I also use an Intel card on my own computer and pink flashing never occurs on those ones. Most of the laptops have an integrated card, so that shouldn't be a problem. I recommend using those. But if you have a PC, then try to apply these fixes. If you still have issues, let me know in the comments and I will try my best to link you up with resources that can help you with this issue. And that would be it. There are a few other things that you might want to do before jumping into playing the game. One of them is um, you might want to try to download clear neighborhood templates and install them before starting to play with the pre-made neighborhoods because one of them, because some of them are corrupted by default, unfortunately. Also, there are a few no corruption mods which I would recommend getting before starting to play a game. I will leave a few links in the description. But other than that, I would say that's it. That's all you have to do to make Sims 2 functional on Windows 10. I hope you guys will enjoy playing with The Sims 2. And if you found this video useful, leave a like. Let me know in the comments if you need any kind of help with this. I am always more than happy to help. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!